Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Wednesday, everybody, on this unbelievable March 11th. My God, talking about having some uh, <laughs> having, having some crazy moves in the market, huh? We're down about what 760. We were down about 480 this morning. Came back. We went down. We went up. We had a big rally yesterday in the market. We were up about 1,200. Now we're down 700. You know what? I told you this. We're going to be up and down about 1,000 points, going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's just unbelievable market conditions. So uh, it, I'll tell you, it is really, really scary out there. Listen, we did really well yesterday. Um, I was trading that stock uh, Gush. I uh, did an overnight position yesterday. I sold out early this morning. It wasn't going my way. I had a nice profit. I lost a, I lost some of it. Good thing I got out. It would have probably been a lot bigger right now. I'm still looking to be a buyer. But um, let me tell you, it's um, – it's, it's, I feel like – has anybody been watching the news about the coronavirus? Have you guys been watching what's been going on? Some people get really paranoid about it. I don't know if you guys have been watching it. Yeah. So it's like – I feel like they're talking on the side of their mouth, right? I really think like they're really, really talking on the side of their mouth. Like they know the catastrophe that's out there and they want to talk about it, but they don't want to talk about it. You know what I mean? They want to explain what to look for and what not to look for and what to be careful of, what things not to do. And it's like, it's like, and I, I guess I, they don't want to cause mass hysteria, but it looks like that's basically where it's coming about. And now we... Yeah, well, listen, they they say you're going to have it everywhere. Listen, it, you saw what happened in Italy. Italy, they basically just shut down the whole country, okay? Uh, China, obviously, looks like they're bailing out of it a little bit now, they said. I mean, they're not having as many cases. But, um, but the difference between us and China is – I don't think they would shut down. They can't shut down U.S. government. I mean, they, 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 I don't think you know. They, they, maybe in a communist country, but I was walking around yesterday, and people they they don't care. I mean, they're walking around. I, I was I was at a store, do some shopping. I heard some guy in the background coughing, and you know, it wasn't like he was coughing on water. And the guy's got his mouth wide open. Everybody's looking at him like one guy cursed him. So what the hell, like, what the hell's wrong with you? You know what I mean? And uh, just some people just – it's just – I don't know. It's going to – I don't know. It's probably going to look worse than – it gets laughing. Uh, it's probably going to be a lot worse than expected. Oh, and another thing. I was planning on a trip to Italy, uh, a trip to Florida next week. I have a big convention to go to. Apparently, it's still going on. But um, but I, and I booked with Delta, and um, I paid I paid like $300 for those plane tickets. I, th I think it was 300 And um, – they let me cancel them. I went because I, I went online to check what they are. You know what the, those same plane tickets were to, from Florida, uh, from New York to Florida are? They came down. Gene, you would have no idea how much they came. But, like, I was, before we start going through the watch list, realistically, I was just telling Josh this. How much money realistically you think a plane ticket, if you got a good deal from New York to Florida, would cost? Ken, you're from, you're from uh, Fort Lauderdale. What do you think it would cost? 350 for your flight uh you paid what do you guys let's have a little trivia question 250 david's a pretty good deal from new york to florida just as 99 dollars on delta 60 dollars 99 dollars ken says no way there's no way you get a 99 yeah maybe you found spirit airlines uh not on delta from boston for florida is 250 just to return okay all right. So anyway, I just went online to check $70 round trip, same flight that I paid 300. Now is 70 bucks on Delta. Now Delta, it's obviously to me is like, you know, it's more of a higher end airline compared to the other ones, but that's pretty scary. I might just buy the ticket. And if I lose the $70, it's not the end of the world. 300 is a big difference, you know, when you're booking for, for family five. Uh, but yeah, it's unbelievable. $70 round trip. Ken says I got ripped off. Well, if you they said if you booked it before March 9th, Ken, they give you a full refund. So you still got a chance. All right. So let's go, let's go talk about what's happening from yesterday because uh this is obviously no joke. A lot of great volatility. This has been a day trader's dream. Guys, um yesterday we had a great class. We were watching that stock uh, gush, and you know what? When the Dow went up. A minute later, the, the gush went up. When the Dow went down, gush went down. And it's not like it was going down like 
50 points. I mean, when this market's going up and down like 20, 30, you know, uh, I mean, 100, 200, 500 points going each swing. So it was a fun stock to trade, um, but you got to be disciplined. You got, you can't say this is the bottom, this is the bottom. This is, you got to be disciplined on that trade, okay? So that's where that comes in. So there was a lot of big winners yesterday. I mean, I can go, I can go down the list, but I know you guys did really well on American Airlines. The other one, I mean, like uh, it got halted yesterday was this one right here. Now, I, I don't know what happened here, but this stock, I mean, you could see – Royal Caribbean went to 41 and shot up up to 52. It was up with $10. Got halted. Okay. Now it's back down. So market's down about 700. So uh, I tell you, it's it, it's uh, it's been a crazy market. A lot of great opportunities out there. And I mean, listen, the big thing that I rarely ever trade, rarely ever trade. But you only could trade them in this market condition is you can trade ETFs now, you know, because the market's so damn volatile. I mean, where do you get these 700, 1200 day swings? I mean, we had more of these swings than I could even remember. I don't even think it was this bad, you know, back in 2008. I think the crisis was worse in 2008, not not as the sickness, as, a, as the market dropped. I mean, market dropped about 50, 60 percent. I think we had 15,000 and we dropped all the way to six. Well, guess what? How long ago was that? Look where we are now. We went to 32,000. So, you know, the market will find its way down the road. But listen, if you see some good opportunities, you might have to deal with some, you know, with some Pepto Bismo with the with the with the with the volatility that's going on. But if you believe in the U.S. economy, you believe in, you know, capitalism, you believe in the stock market, you know, and you were and you're looking about five years from now, 10 years. You know, and you miss some of those big runs. I know people are still crying. They wish you bought Apple back then. And, you know, last year was like 150, went to 300. I mean, listen, there's some great opportunities out there. So if you really love a stock, you got great swing opportunities. But as a day trader, remember, guys, just make your days pay. And I'm telling you, you're going to make a lot more than you used to. But you could trade the mark conditions. Now, regarding about what's going on in the markets, I want to get ready for my phase four, or phase three class. Um, it's funny. This stock is obviously not Tesla, okay? It's TLSA. Somebody got confused. Is this Tesla? I mean, did it do reverse stock split? No, it's it's T T L S A. Uh, but uh, close, I said that was a good one. But anyway, this stock obviously had a big pop early in the pre-market, and then it came back down. It was up, it's up huge right now. You can see it was literally up about 157, 54%, but it was up a hell of a lot more than that. It was up about 300. I don't know why it came back down. Uh, it's a science company, so it could be one of those pharmaceutical stocks. That one I would keep an eye on in, in the morning hours. You have this one, too, that's gapped up pretty nicely. BKYI. Up, up 153%. That one's looking pretty good. Um, breaking all-time highs right there. PHIO, I found this one this morning too. This one uh, got decimated. It's coming back up 22%. Great iceberg orders. You could see it there on the right-hand side in the matrix. So that one's look like it's going to fill in the gap. Looks like you got about $6 right there. But she, you know, but you could see she kind of trended down Uh right here. I don't know what that's all about. I mean, listen, things, I guess, because the mark came down a lot. So keep an eye on that. Uh, you know, I, I can go through all these oil stocks and everything, but this thing is starting to come back up a little bit. This one had a nice little push yesterday, uh, 25 to 50. Now backed off a little bit. SSL, another one uh, got destroyed. This one's making lower lows. There's a lot of, listen, there's, the oil's obviously a big news that happened from yesterday. That was a big catastrophe. I mean, you got all the ETFs, you got all the brand names. I mean, honestly, for me personally, there's an opportunity you guys have to be very, very aggressive. But um, if you are considering maybe a swing trade or something like that, just this is where you have to do your homework. If you want to do an option play, play, this is a great time to trade an option. You know, if you're looking, you know, if you want to personally, like I would probably maybe like I'm a fan of doing leaps. OK, I would do a leap like a year trade. OK, uh, you get an opportunity out there. You, you you want to do a leap trade. That's one thing. But um, but just be very, very careful with this market. I just still I, I'm just still not that confident. I don't know. I'm hearing these, these these politicians talk on the side of their mouth. Republicans and Democrats still hate you know fighting with each other. Um, 
Apparently what I heard that they want to do a little stimulus package here for the public and, you know, cut payroll taxes. Democrats don't want to do it. So, I mean, the, the fighting is just is just terrible out there. And, you know, unless they. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, and that just puts very it, that puts a lot of uh, uh, stress on the market. The market does not like that. And you know what affects it affects all of us, you know, so. You know, sometimes I feel like these politicians care about politics more than they care about this country. And, you know, it's going to affect a lot of us and how we're going to react. So we got to do something. So let's keep an eye on it. But you know what? There's an opportunity to make money out there. Let's keep a, keep an eye on it. And uh, if you see something, say something. All right, guys. Uh, how did the election come out? <laughs> well, oh, the election, the election came out. I mean, Bernie got crushed. Uh, Biden won across the board. I mean, pretty much everyone backed him. So but that obviously was a good sign for the market, but the market's now looking at that way. They're looking at more of the coronavirus. I think that's their biggest issue. All right. Yeah, Trump won every state. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's the only guy running, right? Uh, future morning lows. Okay, so you have uh, Chuck Schumer talking right now before just saying something. I don't know what he said. All right. So, guys, let's get ready for class. If you're a student, if you're not, don't go anywhere. Um, I'm just telling you right now, if you're new to CTU, I hope you're having a good time because it's a lot of fun. And then don't forget, today we got a, we got a bunch of events going on. Uh, remember, we got class. Tomorrow we got tra um, Traders Talk Live. I'm going to be on an event. And then we have Invest Inspiration. So we got a lot of events coming up this week. So, um, guys, listen, you get these emails. Uh, these, there's some great presentations going on. Do yourself a favor. Just register. Do, um and when you register, the good thing about it is that if you can't make it, at least you have the archive on it. Listen, we only talk for about 30 minutes. You'd be shocked what you learn in 30 minutes uh, of hearing someone's different perspective. And we get right to the point. So when you get these registrations of events that I'm on or somebody else, just register for them. And uh, let me tell you, there's some great content. This is your job. You know what I mean? Good traders. Just remember one thing about these events that we do. Good traders never stop learning. Always remember that, all right? And listen, the funny, the, the other part about it is that sometimes you want to listen to them like, wow, God, th I heard about this guy. Thank God I didn't do that because now I know why I don't trade that type of a market. So you, oh, that's what makes you a great trader. So make sure you go out there and support us. Good luck, everybody. I'll see you all in class.